All right, and we're good. I'm knackered from work, but fuck yeah. Even though I am knackered, I'm quite excited to do this video. I mean, I have my first driving lesson in like half an hour, so I need to get this done quick. What's up, guys? Skillfully here, and welcome back to another video. Now, today is another cosplay video. <laughs> Just before we start the video, um, anybody who is wondering where my gaming is and whatnot, it's not gone. This hasn't been converted to a full cosplay channel. I'm just, I'm, I'm documenting a lot of this at the moment simply because this is my first ever suit and also the cosplay videos have actually done really well on my channel it's done a lot better than the gaming videos have so if i wanted to i could convert this completely to cosplay but i do enjoy making gaming videos as well so they will be back soon do not worry as i said if anybody out there who likes my gaming videos is wondering where the fuck they've gone do not worry about it they are going to be coming back soon but for the meantime i'm just building my armor so once i finish the armor which bro i might finish it in about a week maybe then i'll start making some more gaming videos again but either way that is not why we're here pretty much i have made the odst shoulder pieces i've made both yeah i'm just i'm really happy how they turned out they pretty much look exactly how they do from the game that's the thing like i haven't done as i said i haven't done that much like foam crafting and whatnot as i said i've made a few pieces here and there but one they weren't really that difficult and two it was usually like a once in a while kind of thing so i'm quite surprised that i've come onto this odst suit and it's turning out amazingly at the moment either way i've done it both shoulder pieces they're just gonna go on like that my microphone's in the way man what are you doing man emil yeah it's just gonna go on like that um a good thing about this suit is that the majority of it is just held together by straps so obviously i'm on a weight loss grind at the moment and as i said it's going amazingly at the moment i'm already kind of seeing a small difference in in my body weight which is it's decent. But the good thing is everything is pretty much held together with straps. So once I lose weight, get thinner, I can then just adjust the straps to my current size. Like if I was making a full Spartan armor, I'd probably have to remake a bunch of pieces because I probably wouldn't be able to fit into it anymore. Maybe I would. I don't know. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with how this has turned out. Obviously... I have dremeled, like, just weathering and, like, scratches on it, um, on this one as well. I'm obviously going to be dremeling all of my pieces. I've dremeled the, the chest plate and the chest piece, dremeled the shoulders, dremeled the helmet, which I will be moving on to. And if it carries on staying at this, like, quality and, like, accuracy towards the actual suit, I am so excited to be actually finishing this suit and seeing what it actually looks like and seeing how accurate it actually is but either way those are the shoulders out of the way i'm very happy with those and now the helmet obviously i have already shown you guys what the helmet looks like i've already shown you yeah what the helmet looks like why did i say that twice either way you know what the helmet looks like however though i have finally installed the visor I'm so happy with this helmet. Like, I'm... Ah! Yeah, I've installed the visor. I'm very happy with it. Nice and reflective, bitch. Yeah, so I have given myself a nice gold visor. I am so, so happy with how the visor has turned out. It's just... It's gold, bro. Just look at that. As I said, it's reflective. You can't see me. But I can fucking see you. I ended up actually posting a picture of this on my Instagram and somebody asked me what I used um, for the visor. So I thought I'd also cover that in this video just in case somebody else was wondering what I used to make it gold. And I'd simply just used gold reflective window tint film. It's pretty much just like some film that you put onto your, your house windows, car windows, any kind of windows, I guess. But I decided to put it onto some plastic and then cut out the pieces and then stick the pieces together. And then obviously glue the helmet into the visor. <laughs> If you guys are wondering where exactly you can find this and what exactly it is, I'll be leaving a link in the description so you can go check it out and you can go and buy it yourself because I tell you what, it is worth it. I can see perfectly out of this. I can read everything out of this. Like the vision is so amazing and it's, 
I love it. So as I said, the link will be in the description where you can go and find this window tint film. I suggest you look up a tutorial on how to actually apply window film. So I bought a 1.5 meter by one meter roll of gold window tint film. This was the very last bit of it. I literally messed up the rest of the entire thing. This was the only one that actually worked out for me. I do have the ab plate and the butt plate done. However, though, I didn't really feel like I had to make a video on those because I don't really think they're that special. I don't think anybody really cares that much about the butt plate or the ab plate. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Spartan 117. You don't know the power of the dark side.